Well, man cavers, we are back. And we're going to fit, if I can get it out of the bag. Hey. Yeah. Drip rile. Roll the credits. Ha <laughs> ha. Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. Right, you're probably wondering, why do you want drip rail? How does it work? What is it? What's it for? Well, on a normal panel van, on a builder's van, you're not too fussed. But on a camper, you are a bit fussed. And I'll show you the problem. Here is our SLD, side loading door. Now then, look under here. Look at that, rain, 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 water, water, water. So when the van rains, when the van rains, when it rains, the problem we're having is with the side loading door open and you're sitting in there and it rains, the water drips off and it don't clear the side of the van, it lands down in the step and on the floor. Well, that's not good. Of course, if, if it's a little bit damp and you might want to sit there with the door open to look out and watch the rain, you don't want the rain dripping onto your floor. So there's a workaround to this. Stuff I didn't even know existed. It's stick-on drip rail. Here we go. Here we go. Look, it's just a stick-on drip rail. And you can buy it per metre and put it on it's not cheap stuff it's not terrifically cheap at all but if it does the job and keep the rain and you can get this in various different colors as well i just got gray to hopefully match the van i thought it'd be a bit better than garish white or black anyhow we need to prepare where i'm going to stick this to which is along the top there and that should stop the water coming in and that should just run off each end if I put a bit of fall on it so I need to just I was going to say tea cut that's a bit DIY I'm going to compound up just by hand where that needs to stick right so I'll get that compounded then we can get that stuck on Right, I've got you guys way up in the air because I'm right down here. Hello. Right. Let's now get this compounded up. Right, I've wet that with some cleaner. Put a bit of compound on the rag. I remember what I said about compounding. You're best off if you can keep it wet. You keep the compound wet, it works better. There we go. Oh, the whole band's coming up good with a compound. Look, look at that. Look how good she's coming up. Unbelievable. Right, I think I've got to work a little bit further backwards. There we go. Right, let me get a bit further backwards. No, I haven't got onto the bodywork anymore on this, because the weather has kind of stopped me, but trust me, I've got enough to be doing inside. If this don't get painted this side till the spring, it doesn't really matter. It really don't matter. We've got so much to be doing on the old girl. Right, where are we going to have our drip tray come to? Somewhere back here, I think, to clear the door. Well, there we go. I can't believe how that's polished up. There we go. Wow, look at that. Right. Now we want to wipe that polish off. We've got a nice, smooth, clean surface. 
Okay. That has actually come really nice. Yep. Yep, she's come really nice. What is this black tape on here? Why has someone put black gaffer tape? That'll have to come off at some point. Alright, we're going to go underneath that anyhow. Oh, wow. Uh, here we go. Right. Now, this is dry, clean, and polished free, and that feels lovely. Excellent stuff. So, I think now we can be getting the drip rail stuck on. How pliable is it? Are we going to have to heat it to make it a bit more pliable? I really don't know, guys, whether this is going to be pliable enough or whether I could do it with heating it. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we need to get just a smidgen of heat on this. Just to soften it up. Right. So I'm just gonna get the just gonna get the air breather on this a little. See if we can soften him up a little. We don't want to be too aggressive, so we'll just put the mass gas on it. Gently heat him up. Forward here. And this stuff should stick like shit. Beg your pardon. There we go. I just need to get it on there level. Well, that's the front bit on. This stuff actually is quite impressive. But it is very, very stiff. Yeah, it is very, very stiff indeed. So I think it does need heat and it benefits from being heated to fit. See if I can come down here. Cool, that won't come off once that's on, I'll tell you that. Yeah, this does not like to come off when that's on. Cool. Mm. Oh, so thick. In fact, it's very thick, which makes it quite the handful to work with. I'm a little bit high there. Right, mid-film of that, the camera run out of memory. Memory card full. But, here we go. You don't want to see me just stick all that on in here. Here's that stuff. Stuck on. And it's like a drip tray, look. See, it acts as a drip channel, so your water will just run off. It'll run down here, into this drip channel, and then it runs down the front, and it doesn't go running through into your side-loading door, which is most annoying. Now, there we go. Very, very fast video. I'll probably put this on tonight with the other one of me doing the split charge unit, which I've just done. If you want to see how I installed this fusible link, check the other videos. It's all on there, right? I'm a-going. And, yeah, we're getting some stuff done. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now. Drip Channel. Ha-ha!